Birds of Prey, and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. With a title like that, the movie has to be good. Hello and welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. And on this episode, I'm talking about Birds of Prey. Margot Robbie is back as Harley Quinn. You have Rosie Perez, uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, uh, Janae Smollett, Ellie J, and Ewan McGregor. And honestly, to be real honest, I thought the movie was going to suck. Um, when I first saw the trailer, I was like, eh, don't really care. I don't care about Harley. Um, how are they going to make me care about her without the Joker? Um, and they managed to find a way. I actually enjoyed the movie. I, the movie made me care about Harley Quinn. Not like, I hope nothing happens to her because she's a terrible person and she admits that throughout the movie, but it, it gave her a, a good story. You know, it takes place after the events of Suicide Squad. And if you haven't seen that movie, doesn't matter, but essentially she saves the day in that movie, goes back to jail, and then she gets broken out of jail by the Joker. So this movie picks up, they they break up, and I thought it was just fun the way it it started with the animation and Harley Quinn, you know, doing the the narration of everything. And honestly, as I was walking home, it hit me. This is DC's Deadpool. Yeah, it's DC's Deadpool. She's narrating the whole movie. She doesn't break the fourth wall a lot, but she does look at the camera and, you know, and talk to the camera once or twice in the movie. Um, her narration is great. Um, there's points in the movie where something is happening and then she cuts in and she's like, wait, let me let me give you a little backstory here. And you actually rewind and get more backstory on certain characters. And I thought it was well done. Like the movie doesn't take itself very seriously at all, you know. Um, and it was just the way they told the story was well done. Harley Quinn, she breaks up with Joker. And at first she doesn't tell anybody because it's the mystique of the Joker. Don't mess with Harley Quinn. She's with the Joker and she gets to do whatever she wants. And then she, she hits a point where she's like, she doesn't want to do it anymore. So she does something which tells everybody she's done with the Joker. And that's when people want to kill her and come after her. And there's a lot of people in the way they even Tell that part of the story is funny. You will see a character and it'll get this graphic around the character, like why they want to kill Harley Quinn. And it was just, it's funny. Um, and she, the the villain is Black Mask, played by Ewan McGregor. And he's having a blast. You can tell he's happy. Like everybody in this movie is having a blast. And he, in particular, I've never seen him act like this before in a movie. And he's just living it up. He's on a thousand and he's, He's very violent. He uh he he works with a uh, Victor Zav, I believe his name is, and he you've seen him probably in like the Arkham games, but he's like a serial killer. He kills people and then he puts a mark on his body. And it's a very violent movie. It's rated R, curses, violence, like peeling off people's faces type violence. So it's like I said, it's comparable to Deadpool. And Black Mass wants this diamond. He wants to kill Harley Quinn. He's going to kill her, but she says she can get the diamond for him, and that's how she runs into all the other women that's in this movie because they have ties to the diamond as well. And everybody's everybody hits it off. Like when they're on screen together, it's it's fun. Everybody's having a good time. I like the inclusion of the hyena and her naming it Bruce and the Ewan McGregor is probably a standout as well as Margot Robbie. I really enjoyed um, the younger girl played by um, Ella J. Bosco. She was really fantastic. She was like a, a pickpocket um, woman, and she just had great chemistry with all the characters. It, it's a fun movie. And going into it, I wasn't sure how I was going to respond to it. I didn't know if it was going to be fun. I, the biggest gripe I have with the movie is Harley Quinn is like Batman. She beats up a lot of people and you don't get that in her backstory. You get, you get the fact that she's really smart. They mentioned that multiple times that she went and got a PhD and she's a psychologist. And she she uses that in this movie when she's talking to certain people. She's breaking them down 
you know, as a psychologist. And that part is cool because you don't really get that a lot of Harley Quinn, you know, in, in all the aspects that she shows up in, in terms of like, um, you know, movies and video games, stuff like that. You don't get her being really smart. You just get her doing crazy things for the Joker. And it was cool that she was, you know, showing that, you know, she's, she's crazy, but she does have that PhD. But like, she was like Batman. She was beating people up. She was raiding a, a, a police station, knocking everybody out. She was fighting criminals. She was fighting all these bad, like she, that, that was the only thing I was like, how is she beating up all these people? Um, Huntress played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead. She's, she's a trained assassin. So I understand her beating people up. Rosie Perez. She's a cop. I understand her beating people up. Um, Smollett. I'm not sure. They don't give her too much backstory. Um, you know, she plays Black Canary. You know, she has the voice and everything like that. She's also beating people up. But like ha watching Harley Quinn do all these moves, it's like, is she Black Widow? I, like that was the only thing that was like mind boggling to me, like watching the movie. Like why? She's just so good at this. She's really good at this. But like the movie is fun. Go. I recommend going to see the movie. It's fun. Uh, it. It shows you a little bit of little, little little things from Suicide Squad in terms of her um in terms of her turning into Harley Quinn. Again, you don't have to see that movie to, to enjoy this. Um, but I just I had a fun time just watching them on screen together. I was I was smiling watching the movie. It's not like laugh out loud funny. It's like Deadpool is, but the way the movie is made feels like Deadpool for for DC, and I enjoyed it. So if you've seen the movie, let me know what you think. Um, what were some of your favorite moments, favorite characters? Uh, I really uh, liked the young girl that was just robbing everybody. She was fun. And Ewan McGregor was having a blast as Black Mask. And I really liked the way the mask looked on him. It, it, it was fantastic. But thank you for listening. Deuces. <laughs>